Yankee Stadium in New York. It's 1986 Stratomatic Yankee Baseball. As today, the New York Yankees host the Milwaukee Brewers. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting edition of Yankee Baseball as finally the Yankees return back to Channel 11 for a broadcast game. Oh, the Yankees have been licking their wounds lately. They've had some tough times trying to survive this. Yankees in their first five games of the season are one and four. The Brewers are two and two. He's unfortunately, as a team, and let's, yeah, let's bring that list back in and close that out, and we're good there. So having some technical difficulties, but the Yankees have been struggling to defensively. That's the problem. I mean, they're 5.60 ERA in five games. That's lowest. In the American League, the Brewers aren't much better at 5.29. The Yankees Brewers had won the first game in this and somehow the Yankees, struggling as they are, got the winning game in their second series against uh, Teddy Higuera. So they beat Higuera in game two, which I thought would be the hardest game for them, but they ended up coming back and winning. Let's go ahead and auto some games before we play, because I think that's why I'm looking at some of these numbers not being sort of correct as I do have games not played in the system from April 10th. So we'll go ahead and stick these games on an auto for me. We'll play day, and then we'll actually give you a actually updated standings for the Sunday Yankee game versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Let's see if we can do this real quick. Play A. Boston beat Detroit 9-1 Thursday, April 10th. Mariners over the Angels, Cleveland over Baltimore, Chicago beat Milwaukee 5-4, Oakland over Minnesota 3-0, and Texas beat Toronto 14-4. So there's a big big start for the Rangers there on that Thursday. And then let's see what's, what's going on here. So again, we look at the Thursday games we're played. Now we'll look at the Friday games. We'll go ahead and auto those real quick. Again, do that. But we can do this at the end of the day. I decided I want to be. We will get look at this. Have, uh, that's why I don't have updated stats because I do not auto these games that I played ahead of time. So let's go ahead and just 
finish off the day here. Texas beat Baltimore. 4-2 Red Sox over the White Sox. This Red Sox pitching has been absolutely crazy good. A's over the Angels, 5-2. Indians over the Tigers, 6-4. That's the Yankees' next opponent. Twins over the Mariners, 13-1. And Toronto BKC, 7-2. Kansas City just came off a three-game sweep of our New York Yankees at home. Yankees were not treated too well as they brought a team in for their home opener only to be, only to be swept. Let's go ahead and put these Saturday games on auto and see how they affect us here. And then we're going to kind of give you a little more updated statistics. And I don't think I gave you uh, good enough stats for now because I think no one had games besides the Yankees did. So we'll go ahead and do that. So it was the Orioles over the Rangers, 6-3. Boston beat Chicago, 4-1. That, that pitching still hot. California over Oakland, 5-2. Cleveland over Detroit, 3-2. Minnesota over Seattle, 14-8. And Kansas City beat Toronto, 6-4. And now the last games that will be, unless that's going to be the Sunday games. And, yeah, that's the Sunday. So we don't worry about the Sunday one since we're playing them. So now let's take a look at the, the stats and standings right now with games up to date to the Sunday. It is the Yankees coming in at one and four? They're four back of the Red Sox, who are undefeated at five and zero. Oh. Cleveland's four and one. Milwaukee's two and three. So that shows you more there. To, and the Rangers are in first place in the West with the A's and Royals all at four and one. Angels are three and two. In the standings, the statistics department, the Yankees are in two fifty six. That is still bottom half. The Yankees are hit at five point six zero ERA. That's third from last in the American League. So they've been struggling, like we said. So let's get to some baseball. The last game of the series against the Milwaukee Brewers. So the Yankees will take the field. It will be against Jaime Kokenauer. So the Yankees will bring their, their left-handed bats on this game. Griffey, Henderson, Winfield. That's Pagliarillo, Meacham, Randolph, Mattingly. Wattinger behind the plate and on the mound, Ron Guidry. First start of the year, not so good. Five innings, seven hits, two walks, two strikeouts, gave up a home run. ERA, a lofty 11.57. Here's your Brewer lineup. Mike Felder lead off in center. Randy Reddy at second. Molitor at third. Yount is DHing today. Paul Householder in left. Rob Deer in right. Billy Joe Robito at first. Juan Castillo at short. And a veteran, Charlie Moore, is behind the plate. And again, on the mound is Jaime Kockenauer. We'll get to his numbers when the Brewers take the field. Are we ready for some baseball? Let's do this. Double D in the ballpark. Hello, Double D. Thank you for coming inside. I'm going to play this one straight up with the computer. I so I can get going. Work schedule says I need to kind of be off a little bit more a little quicker than playing a full game. So let's hope for this holds. Thank you, Double D, for being one of my, my subscribers coming in and watching the game. So here's Mike Felder. Again, Yankees come in at one and four. They were swept by the Royals. They split the first two of this series. The Brewers are, I believe, two and three. We kind of mentioned they are, let's look at this. Standings again, the Brewers are two and three, three and two in real life. The Yankees are one and four. They're four and one in real life. They're actually three below where they are. Their pitching staff is just beginning hammered and have not got a good start. They when they won their game, oh my gosh, they had a really beat up Teddy Hagar and hold on when they won that one. So here's Mike Felder. He'll get the start. He's hitting 235, 17 at bat. Bats has an RBI, batting from the right-hand side. Wanniger sets the target. Ron Guidry with the pitch. And, whoops, I have it set up still to roll the dice. So let's go ahead and change the preferences to do that. Dice mode still good. And then we'll go to, we'll go to dice card split. We'll, we'll have automatic throwing of dice. Split cards are automatic. And... And everything else should be fine. So here we go. Yankee Stadium again, about a half 50 50 ballpark. Singles are one to seven. Home runs are about one to nine, one to eight. So about 50% all over. Wanniger sets. Gidry looks in. Here's the pitch to Mike Felder. And he gets a start at the four seven. Ground ball to short. Meacham's been hit 
Your miss. He's a 4E38. He picks it up, throws, and throws one in the dirt. And Mattingly could not scoop it. So Felder's on. That'll be an E6. Yankees have their problems again at the shortstop position. That's an error on Meacham. Felder with good speed on it first. Here is Randy Reddy. He's been up five times with an RBI. No hit so far. Wattinger sets in. Gidry from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Reddy. And Mike Felder looking for the lead, but he could not get it. Gidry steps off, looks in. Here's the pitch to Wattinger. And they're going. Here goes the throw. Mike Felder is safe at second. So they get the stolen base. He, had, he, he didn't get it get the lead either so he's able to take second so felter with good numbers to get a steal of second now here's randy ready runner on second nobody out sunday afternoon here at the ballpark wanniger sets in gidry from the stretch here's the pitch to ready and felder was looked to steal third boy he was greedy there he almost got it so again he stays at second wanniger sets gidry again from the stretch kind of bugging gidry out there here's the pitch to ready and that's a 6 11. That is a line drive right at Meacham. I think that was a, might have been a ballpark home run down there, but he missed it. He was, it looks like he was not powered up. And it was a it was a ballpark single. So look at Molitor. That could be what's going on here. Let's see Molitor, see what his power is against lefties. Molitor is a W power versus lefties in a he's an N versus righties. How about that, huh? You wouldn't think Mahler would ever be a W late in his career, but he was an N versus righties, a W versus lefties. So runner on second, one out, Mahler a batter. Gidry from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Mahler. Mahler, 3 7, struck him out, two away. And now here is Robin Yount. He's playing center field now, adapting to a new position. 18 at bats, four doubles, home run, five RBIs. So, so far, so good for the four. The, for the 1982 most valuable player, runner on second, two outs. Felder on at second, got on the air, stole second. Wanniger puts down his target. Gidry from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Yount. Paul Householder on deck. And that is going to be a 6 4 5 ball to center. That's Henderson. He's a 1 E7. And he will snatch that catch. Oh, my. He makes the catch and the ends the inning. One half of the play. Brewers, nothing. And the Yankees coming to bat. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, nice to see you also, Double D. Of course, this is not like the, uh, the Chris Jericho Appreciation Society, it's the New York Yankees Appreciation Society. That's usually a playing it. Playing it team that everyone does not like so here is ricky henderson henderson 20 at bats two doubles and one rbi hitting 250 three walks three strikeouts he's got us only one stolen base so far for the brewers it's householder felder and deer all threes Mauder, castillo ready robito not a good in field three fours around the infield and a three at third charlie moore is a three with a zero arm and Cock an hour up plus seven is your hold. So he he is he's making his looks like his first start of the year. He's only got one inning of relief this year, giving up three hits, two walks, and a strikeout. So it looks to be a bullpen game for Milwaukee today, and they got used pretty well in the Hagara star. So we'll have to see how much bullpen Milwaukee has for this one. It looks like let's see, Tim Leary, Hagara. Nope, Danny Darwin is top. Hired for the Brewers in this one. They say he probably won't be able to go if needed. Moore sets down the target. Kakenauer from the lineup. And here's the pitch to Ricky Henderson. And that's going to be a 3 6 single on the four. No, Castillo at the play. Castillo's a four. E88. That's short. Holy cow. Here's Willie Randolph. He's hitting 368. One of the Yankees that's hitting. 19 at bats, a double and three ribbies. Moore sets in the target. Kakenauer from the lineup. Here's the pitch to Randolph. Here's a 1 7. Randolph draws the walk. Now, let's see what the Yankees do with a plus 7 on the mound. Remember, if you watch my video, you cannot go above a plus 5 or minus 5 with the minus 2 holding. Cockenauer becomes a plus 5 to hold. We'll see if Randolph can get the lead. If not, will he go for it? He does not get it. He turns into 1 to 7, so Randolph will hold. Here is Don Mattingly. Boys, he struggled hitting a buck 90, a double in an RBI. He's always been known as a slow starter. 
Moore sets in the target, cock an hour from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Don Mattingly. 6-6 six, six, and draws the walk. So the Yankees got two on and one out. Here's David Winfield hitting 316, a double and an RBI, still looking for his first home run. Two walks in, two strikeouts. Moore sets the target, cock an hour from the stretch. Two on, one out. Pitch to Winfield. 5-6 and got the inside corner. And Winfield kind of looks back in disgust. Here is Mike Easler, 273. He's been up 11 times in an RBI, getting his starts mostly against right-handed pitching. Moore sets the target, cock an hour from the stretch. Two on, two out in the pitch. And that is going to be a 6-8 and walks him. Cock an hour has really lost that strike zone in 45 innings and 86. He walked 38, struck out 22, so he has an extremely high whip. And I don't know how much further the Brewers can go with him. Base is loaded, two outs, and here is Griffey hitting 222. Nine at-bats and an RBI. Can the Yankees maybe get big on cock an hour here in the first? Moore sets the target, the veteran catcher. Cockenauer looks in from the stretch. Pitch to Griffey. That's a 4-10. Double the center fields over the head of Felder. Randolph scores. Manningly scores. Easler will stop at third. Yankees lead 2-0 as Ken Griffey hits a two-run double. So Griffey the two-run double, second and third, two out. Here's Mike Pagliarulo, and he steps up. He's only been up eight times, one for eight, getting a buck and a quarter. Moore sits in the target. Conkin hour from the stretch. Brewer bullpen looks like is up and getting ready. Here's the pitch to Pagliarulo. One, nine, ground ball to first. Picked up by the first baseman. Takes it to the bag, and it ends the inning. Yankees get two runs on only one hit, a bunch of walks at the end of one. Two, nothing, Yanks. So Gidry comes out for inning number two. He'll pitch to the veteran Paul Householder and then Rob Deere, who kind of is a Joey Gallo of, of, of back then, and, and Billy Joe Robido. So Householder the batter. Wagner sets in the target. Gidry with the windup. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a 5-10 ground ball to third. Pagliarulo comes up with it. He comes up and throws. Oh, in the middle of those errors. Nice pick by Mattingly. So here is Rob Deere hitting 4-17. What a start for Rob. 12 at-bats, home run, two RBIs. Only struck out one time. He struck out 179 times in 86. Wadiger sets in the target. Gidry looks in. And the big wide of the Deer. Here's the pitch, 6-6, six, six, and God, Deer on the inside corner, and that's two outs. Here is Billy Joe Robino. Remember him? He had a kind of a high ceiling at one point. He's hitting 4-12, 17 at-bats, has a triple and four ribbies, two outs. Brewers have looked good in this series and scoring runs. Problem is their pitching kind of fell on them, and Garrett did not give them the start they'd expected in game two. Wagner sets in. Gidry from the windup. Here's the pitch to Robito. Three, three, ground ball to second. Randolph's got it. Throws them out. The Brewers go one, two, three. We go to the bottom of the second on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Two nothing Yanks. It's Wanniger, Meacham, and Henderson against Heidi Cockenauer here in the second inning. Two nothing. Go.
all right, I'm back, and don't think anybody else is. That sucks. Okay, we are back, so hopefully this, this is not what I kind of wanted on the on having a breakup like, like this. Who knows how long we've been gone for? 720. Ooh, it was like we've been gone for almost 10 minutes. So that's not going to be good. So we'll see if we'll do here. We'll see if the game continues or we play on. We'll play on. So there'll be a breakup. There'll be a rain delay inside the stream. So Paul Householder lead off the fourth. 4 1 New York happens again. We'll have to call things for a night. Wagger sets in. Ron Gidry with the windup. It's 4 1 Yankees. And if you are not here, which I guess you are not, let's go ahead and give you the Brewer third inning. Something great to come out. Stratomatic is they do a play account screen. That is quite good. So the Brewers start off with a ground out by Castillo, a walk by Moore, a line out by Felder. So with two outs, Randy Reddy drew the walk. So with runners at first and second, Paul Molitor singled, and that ended up bringing the, actually, let's see here. So Castillo, so Moore got on first, and then Felder, and Felder lined out. And then Reddy got a got us got a walk. Then Molitor had a single, got the RBI. That made it first and third. Molitor, Molitor stole second. And then Robin Yout struck out runners at second and third. So the Brewers only got one run. That's what you missed there. The Yankees bottom part of this order. Pai Rulo grounded out. Wanninger grounded out. And Meacham flied out. So you've been kind of been caught up if you hear what watching the game before that. So now the Brewers will bat here in the fourth, and it will be Householder Deer, and it will be Billy Joe Robido the bat here in the fourth. Again, we thank you there. I'm still here. Thank you. Appreciate the old D for sticking with me. Hope you heard the, what you missed and stuff like that. So it's now 4-1 Yankees. And now we'll get back to broadcast. We'll see what happens from now on. Sorry about that. Kind of Plan a Wi-Fi kind of doesn't. Have many other options. Wadiger sets in the target. Gidry looks in. Here's the pitch to Householder. And that's going to be a 6 7 ground ball to second. That is Randolph. He's at 224. He picks it up and throws him out for out number one. So Householder retired. Here's Rob Deere. He's 0 for 1. He struck out his first time up. Wadiger sets in the target. Gidry with the windup. Here's the pitch to Deere. And that's going to be a two single on the 10. No, meets him right there. He went to his left and got it. So here's Billy Joe Robido, two outs in the four. Robido 0 for 1. Wanninger sets in the target. Gidry looks in, gets the sign, and nods. Here's the big wide up to Billy Joe Robido. 6 10 is a walk. So a two out walk to Robido. Again, Gidry kind of timing a little bit of issues with that today. Three walks and three strikeouts so far. Here's Juan Castillo. Castillo playing short today. Wanninger puts down the sign. Gidry again working from the stretch. Run on first in two outs. 4 1 Yanks. Pitch to Castillo. 5 10. Ground ball to third. Tough play for Pagliarulo. He's a two. He throws. Oh, he threw in the dirt. Mattingly could not pick it. So again, Pagliarulo, he looked like he was throwing off balance. Brewers will now have two on and two out. Another error for the Yankees. They made a bunch. Even Mattingly made his first error of the season the other day on a two-baser. And that has just been kind of the Yankee game plan so far. They've been not playing fundamentally good baseball. So now it's first and second, two on. Here, here's Charlie Moore, the veteran. He walked his first time up. Weininger sets in the target. Gidry from the stretch looks in. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a 1-6 single on the 14 base hit. Charlie Moore, Roberto. I don't know why he held up, but he goes around third and holds. He's only a nine runner, so they will hold him up. And the bases are now loaded in two outs. So Gidry has a little bit of a problem, and it's going to be Mike Felder. So bases loaded in two outs here in the fourth. Felder has reached on an error in line down. He's 0 for 2. Felder, right, easy switch hitter. 
He prefers hitting lefties a little more than than righties. He's got an interesting card sitting on an automatic triple on a 1-7. Wagner sets the target. Gidry from the stretch. Bases loaded, two out, 4-1 New York. And the pitch, he's 1-11. Ground ball to third. McPagarilla kind of touches the bag and ends the inning. So Ron Gidry gets a break there. Pally Rillo able to field it in his touch over, and he made it. Actually, say said he threw across the diamond, but with the bases loaded, you would think the better play would just be to touch, touch third on a four. So we go to the bottom of the fourth. It's 4-1 Yankees. So Henderson followed by Randolph and Mattingly in the bat here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Again, we welcome those who have been watching. Appreciate you, everyone coming in. Please like and subscribe. As we're playing the 1986 replay, if you were watching the last great games replay, it was in 2016, Chicago Cubs taking on 1984 Detroit Tigers. And that was a game for the ages as John Lester took on Jack Morris. Moore sets in the target. Cockenauer looks in for the windup. Here's a pitch to Henderson. That's a 3-6. That's a shot down the line for a base hit. Henderson's going to go around first. He's in full speed ahead. Go for two. And makes it in there. So Henderson stand up double. So Henderson uses that great speed and starts off with a double. Cockenauer, let's look at his numbers and see what he's able to do here. Cockenauer for his rating he can go five so he is he's getting close to his possible point of weakness more sets in the target cock an hour from the stretch runner on second nobody out here's the pitch to randolph randolph six seven draws the walk cock an hour has absolutely been crazy all over the place first and second no outs he's looking to build this one mangley has walked twice so far so he has not had an official a b Moore sets in the target. Cockenauer working from the stretch. Two on nobody out. Here's the pitch to Donnie Baseball. One for double play ball. Cockenauer turns around. Goes to Castillo. Goes to Robino. Double play. One, six, three as Mattingly's helmet comes down in, in fury. Runner on third. Two outs. And here's Winfield. He is actually clutch. So the dead roll he did have on a 1-6 is now a single. So that makes him extremely tough. He does not have an out in the one column technically. And he also adds another hit in the two column. That becomes a very serious card with runners in scoring position. Runners on second, two outs, bottom of the fourth, Yankees by three. Moore sets in the target, cock an hour from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Winfield. Two, a base hit, Winfield. That's down the line. Householder gets it. Winfield with the big legs. And go for two. He gets in there. And the Yankees now lead it 5-1. RBI double, Dave Winfield. So now here is Mike Easler, runner on second, two outs in the fourth. Yankees now up 5-1, out hitting Milwaukee 4-2. Moore sits in the target, cock an hour from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Easler. One sick round ball to second. Pick up by the second baseman ready. Throws to the first and ends the inning. Yankees and one, they strand one. We played four, five, one Yanks. Top of the fifth here at the big ballpark in the Bronx. So now it's going to be Randy Reddy, followed by Paul Motter and Robin Yount. So Wadinger puts down the side. Ron Gidry in his fifth inning of work. Here's the pitch to Randy Reddy. Randy Reddy, 4-11. Ground ball, Gidry. He's a 1-8. E He'll field it without a play. Does he throw the air? Yes, he does. Nice play by Gidry. He set himself and threw a strike. Here's Molitor, one for two. RBI single back in the third. Represents the Brewers' only RBI of the game. Wadiger sets in the target. Gidry looks in, and here's the line up the monitor, and that's going to be a 5-9 line. Drive the second base. Randolph just a step to the right. Makes a nice play for out number two. Here's the designated hitter today, Robin Yount. Flight out and struck out. Wadiger sets in the target. Gidry at the big windup. Here's the pitch to Yount, and that's a 4-7. Ground ball to short. That's Wanniger. Tough play. 4-E-38. Does he make the play? Gets to it. Throws. Got him. Good throw by Meacham. Good play by Manningly. We go to the bottom of the fifth. 5-1 Yanks. It's Griffey. Followed by Pagliarillo and Wanniger. Griffey one for two. Knocked in two with a double back in the first. Moore sets in the target. Jaime Cockenauer working his fifth inning. This is his point of weakness. Here's the pitch to Griffey. 
And that's going to be a 6 10 single one to seven. No, great play by Randy Reddy. Ballpark single taken away. Reddy right there. So here's Ty Urillo. He's old for two. He's grounded out twice. Moore sits in the target. Cockenauer from the windup. Here's the pitch to Pags. 6 12 ground ball to second. That's Reddy. It's a 4 E 30. Tough play. Got him. Reddy set himself, had time, and threw him out at first. Two away in the fifth. Wanniger 0 for 2. 0 for 2 in the ballgame. Reached on air in the second. Ground out in the third. Two outs here in the fifth. Moore sets down the target. Cock an hour in the windup. Here's the pinch to Wanniger. 4 2. Fly ball right field. Deers the 3 E 10. And he fields it. Does he get it? No. Oh. And sorry, folks, this has been a nightmare, and I do apologize. We're going to try this once again. Hopefully, we can finish this one. And hopefully, we finish this one. I at least want to record the stats. We'll see what happens. So this will kind of be one of those games where I don't care if you know, people are here. That will be great. People want to watch. But, yeah, there's going to be some break. Cups, unfortunately, a lot of rain delays here. Top of the six, Yankees lead 5 1. Brewers, the Brewers now back here in the six. And let me go ahead and reduce that screen and we can watch the full screen. So here we go. Top, six, let's do this again. Oh my goodness. So here is Householder, followed by Deer and Robino. Top of the six. They only got two hits off Gidry so far. He's been on base a few times. Walks. Why here sets in the target. Get through the windup. Here's the pick the householder. Six seven ground ball in the second. Randolph's a two twenty four. A play for Willie makes the play one out of sixth. So here is Rob Deer. He's zero for two. Wanniger sets in the target. Gidry looks in. Here's the pitch to Deer. Six. And there is a long drive to deep left field. Griffey's back. Makes the catch. And there's two outs. Yeah. So two outs and a six. Here's Billy Joe Robido. Wanniger sets in. Puts down the sign. Gidry with the wind up. Here's the pitch to Robido. Four, six. And struck him out. So that leaves a sixth inning done. Gidry with six innings in the books. It is still 5 1 Yanks. So now go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Here's Ricky Henderson followed by Randolph and yeah, Mattingly. Yankees five yeah, runs, four hits, and two errors. Brewers one run on two hits. 
Moore sets down the side. Yeah. Cockenauer with the windup. Henderson one for three. Here's the pitch. Four, nine, a single for Ricky. So now let's see if Ricky can get something going. I'm still on base. He's a one to 19. He's the one to 16. He's still going to go. And in there. So Henderson steals second. Runner on second. Nobody out. Yeah. Randolph has not had an official at bat. He's walked three times. Moore sets in the target. Cockenauer yeah. from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Randolph. That's a 4-3 ground ball to short. 4 e oh, 88 for Castillo. Nice. Comes up and throws it in the dirt. Robodeau could not pick it. Runners at first and third. Oh, okay. So now Randolph looks like a possible automatic steal of second. He will go, and he is going to get up without even, no, even not, they won't even throw down. Second and third, nobody out now. Here's Mattingly. He has one place ground into a double. Well, you can tell the frustration on Donnie right now. 22 at bats, a double, only one RBI. This is a chance for Donnie to break out. More yeah. sets in. Cock an hour from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Yeah. And that's going to be a 312 deep drive. The right field is dear. Way back, way back. Oh, he makes the catch at the track. Runner on third scores, and the Yankees lead 6-1. to one. So Randolph on at second with, with one out. Here is Dave Winfield. So a long fly ball by Mattingly. Pulled down by Deer at the track. Runner scores. Again, no official at bat for Mattingly, but gets the RBI. Moore sets in the target again. Cockenauer from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Mattingly. Two, nine, base hit center field. Randolph will probably try to score. One to six. 16, he's safe, and the Yankees now lead at 7-1. So RBI Winfield, and the Yankees lead 7-1 with one out here in the sixth, and I believe Cockenauer's days are going to be done really soon. Moore sets in the target, Cockenauer from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Easler. That's a six that walked him, and that should do it. That's all they can watch here. Here comes the skip, and that'll do it. They'll bring the hook with them. First and second one out in the sixth. Yankees lead by six. Oh, they'll pitch to him. Oh, my, they left him in the game. Line drive at Randy Reddy. Two outs. Wow, that's weird. I thought they'd come out and get him at that point. Here's Pags. Let's see if they can maybe find a lefty for him. Moore goes down, sets in the target. Cock an hour from the stretch. Let's see if he pitches the Pagliarulo or not. He does. And that's a 4-4 catch at. That possibly in the dirt to Charlie Moore. No, it the ground ball nicely done. Comes down, throws him out, and Cockenauer survives the six. But the Yankees score two. We go to the seventh, 7-1 seven Yankees. A kind of surprise there. They left the pitcher in there, but the Yankees are still winning this one quite quietly. 7-1 seven, in the seventh. The Yankees need a laugher at some point. After this, they will make their trip to Cleveland's Municipal Stadium, where two of the next three games will be right here on WPIX Channel 11. The other game will be played offline, as I believe it is in either no TV or a sports channel game. So let's see. Give me one second. Here he is. Wattinger puts down the sign. Get Gidry looks in. Here's a pitch to Castillo. 3-10 ground ball back to Matt Gidry. He's got it. He sets throws out to Mattingly. One out here in the seventh. So one out in the seventh inning. 7-1 seven, Yanks. Here's Charlie Moore. He's one for one with the walk. Wagner sets in the target. Gidry at the windup. Here's the pitch to Moore. 3-6 ground ball to short. Meets him. Got it. Throws him out. So he needs this kind of outing from Gidry. Wattinger puts down the sign. Gidry. Injury looks in. Here's the pitch to Mike Felder. And that's a four base hit. That's a double down the line. Felder will use his speed. And he'll scoot the second with a double. Runner on second and two outs. Here's Randy Reddy. He's 0 for 2 of the walk. Top of the seventh, two outs. So Gidry is a probably a seven. So he'll probably need a he could be fossilly fatigued coming up here. Wattinger sets in. Gidry from the stretch. Runner on second. Two outs. Here's a pitch to Randy Reddy. 5-9 mop. Let the second. Randolph with a nice play. And that's it. So the, for the Brewers, will now go to their lefty, Bob McClure. So he's the new pitcher here. Yankees lead by 6-7-1. Jaime Cockenauer goes 6. Definitely not in this innings. Cockenauer. Six innings, six hits, seven runs, four were earned, eight walks, and two strikeouts. Gidry threw seven, seven innings, three hits, one run, and was earned, three walks, and four strikeouts. So Gidry pitching 
quite well. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It will be Wanniger, Meacham, and Henderson. Moore sets down the target. Bob McClure, the veteran lefty. Here's the pitch to Wanniger. And that's going to be a 2-10 line drive to deep. Deep left field, way back, and gone. Butch Wanniger. So that's Wanniger's first home run of the year as he crosses home plate. Hey, Butch Wanniger, this bud's for you. Yankees lead by seven now as, as Wanniger touches home plate. Yankees add another one here in the seventh, and here is Bobby Meacham. So Moore puts down the target. McClure, the lefty, to, to Meacham. And that's a 6-5 man walks him. So the Yankees getting to the Brewer relief staff here. So Moore sets in the target. McClure from the stretch. Runner on first. Nobody out. Here's the pitch to Henderson. 6 10 five ball the center. That's Felder. 3-E-3. And he made a bad judge call on that. He's going to get a bad read. He'll drop. Meacham will go to th Third, first and third Yanks. Base hit Henderson. So let's see if Ricky can get a jump. And nope, they're going to go to Roy Surridge. So Bob McClure is done. So far for the game for Randolph, three walks and reached an error. He's 0 for 1. He scored three times. Moore sets the target. Surridge from the stretch. First and third, nobody out. Pitch to Randolph, 1 4. And. And that is a five-ball shallow center. Meacham's a 15. He'd be a 17. He's going to try, throw, not in time. RBI sacrifice fly Willie Randolph. And the Yankees lead it by 8-9-1. And here's Don Mattingly. He officially is 0 for 1. Two walks. Has a sacrifice fly RBI. That took Deer to the track. And he's grounded down to a double play. One out here in the seventh. The Yankees win the laugher right now, 9-1. Moore sets in the target. Searage from the stretch. Here's a pitch to Mattingly. And that's a 2-5 double play ball. Mattingly throws 3-6-3. Three, three. And Mattingly's helmet comes off in frustration. Yankees lead by 8. But there's obviously something wrong with number 23 right now. We know this slow April starts. But boy, this got to hurt him. Mattingly takes his spot back at first base. But the Yankees... Yankees lead after 7, 9-1. Let's see if they want one and out. Be careful with getting resolved right now. An 8-run lead heading to the 8th. We'll see who is left or who has not gone well. So Eddie Whitson is not, is not going to make another start. And he can give you three solid innings out of the bullpen. So the Yankees are going to take their chances uh, eight run lead and Eddie Whitson in. He's not actually brought in with a lot of happiness. There's some booze out there for the pitcher. Whitson on the year, 0 and 1, 3.60 year. His last starting with five innings, five hits, no walks, a strikeout, gave up a home run. Yankees lead by 8 9 1. Wattinger sets the target. Whitson comes in here in the eighth inning. Pitch to Molitor. And that's a 2-7 and a walk. So Whitson already starts by putting the leadoff man on. All of a sudden, the Brewers have a rally. You never know. Here is Robin Gow. He's 0 for 3. Wanger sets in, puts down the target. Whitson from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Yount. 1-3 and a single for Yount. Boy, that leash is going to be extremely tight on Whitson. Mahler to third, and it's first and third Brewers. They're down by 8, but they had some cooking. Here's Paul How. Householder, Gidry watches in disbelief. Not sure if he wanted to come out, but this is really early in the year to kind of push your pitching staff. Wanniger sets in. Whitson from the stretch. First and third, nobody out. Here's a pitch to Householder. 4-2, and that's a line drive deep to right field. Back goes Winfield. He cannot get it. It's gone. Paul Householder, three-run homer in the right field seats, and the Yankee lead is cut to five. And boy, Lou Pinella is sitting back wondering what the heck did he just do. And they are going to probably get the bullpen going once again. And Brian, looks like it might be Brian, <coughs> Brian Fisher, the righty, Rod Scurry, the lefty. So they're up in the bullpen. Give them a couple batters, as usually what I do. Wattinger sets in. Whitson from the stretch. All oh, these hands are just throwing. Anything at Whitson right now. Here's the pitch. That struck him out. And there's a and there's a cat call of, of claps for Whitson. One out here in the eighth. 
Brewers with a three spot and cut the lead to five. Wanger puts down the target. Whitson from the stretch. Robito 0 for 2 with the walk and the pitch. And it's going to be a 5 6 and draws the walk. Oh my. Here comes Juan Castillo. He's a switch hitter. Likes righties more. Here comes Blue Pinnell. Takes the ball from Whitson and he is swarmed with booze. Here comes Rod Scurry. So Scurry will come out. Gidry Scurry on the year. He pitched three innings of one hit ball, three walks and a strikeout. Last time he came in, saved the Yankee bullpen. And now he's going to have to act like a life preserver after Whitson kind of self sabotaged the boat here. They had a 9 1 lead heading into the eighth. Brewers with a three spot, and now all of a sudden they're down five with a runner on. Wanninger sets the target. Scurry a plus six. Looks in from the stretch. Here's the pitch. And they were. Trying to go. Oh, oh! they're going to go to the lefties. So they're bringing the veteran, another man from the 82 championship team, AL championship team, that is, and that's Benjamin Ogilvy. He's been up four times, nothing on the board. Lefty, lefty matchup with Ben. Wagner sets the target. Scurry from the stretch. Runner on first and one out. Here's the pitch to Ogilvy. Four, nine, and struck him out. Scurry with a nasty little slider. Lefty away. Two away in the eighth, there's Charlie Moore. He's one for two, runs scored. Walked in the third, singled in the fourth. Wagner puts down the sign. Scurry from the stretch. Runner on first, two outs. And here's a one, six, six on the 14th. Base it, Charlie Moore. So the Brewers keep the inning alive. Two on, two out, and the boy gets back in this. Mike Felder, the batter, one for four with a double. So Felder the batter, two on, two outs. Wanninger sets in the target. Scurry from the stretch. Here's a pitch to Felder. That's a four, five, a base hit down the line. A runner will score. So let's see who scored. Ripley Brown in right field. Felder has the base hit. Robito scores from second. Moore will go to third. And is now a nine to five ball game on Dolly Parton special. First and third one out. Tying runners now on deck with Paul Potter. So a 9-1 lead has vanished. It's now 9-5. And now Rigetti has to get up in the bullpen along with Fisher, who seems to be ready. Wagger sets in the target. Scurry from the stretch. Can he get out ready? Molitor on deck fall by Yao. You know if he gets on, you'll probably see Fisher here. Here's the pitch, and they will see what they were doing. Felder was trying to steal. Ooh, down four runs. The infield was not playing. They were playing normal, so Felder was trying for the lead. He is still a 1-15 to 15 if he wants second base here. But will the Yankees throw through if he tries? Wow, let's look at which Wanniker's throwing arm and see if there and see if that ends up being an issue. So Wanniker's T rating is a three. So he gets one, two, three, one, two, three, it's another base. Only 15% chance. So again, is it wise to throw? Is it wise to let him go in? Let's see. Wanniker sets a target. Scurry from the stretch and the pitch. And it's gonna be a six, seven, struck him out. Rod Scurry exits the mound, but the Brewers score four. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It's 9-5 Yankees. So 9-5 Yankees. Game trying to get interesting all, all of a sudden. And, oh, doctor, we got a little bit of action here, Park. So now here's David. He'll be followed by Easler and Griffey. Righty, lefty, lefty here against Roy Surridge. So he's going to have to come in Surridge and keep this close. But he's got a ton of power against on the five columns. Let's see if the Brewers maybe put a better pitcher. And so far they're not. So we'll see. Moore sets in the target. Surridge from the wide up. Here's the pitch to Whitfield. 3-8, pop up the third. Mahler's there, calls off Riles, makes the play. So Ernest Riles has come in. He's coming to play short stuff. So now it's Mahler, Riles, Reddy, Robindo, Householder, Felder, and Deer. So again, Roy Searage on the mound, one out in the night. Easler, one for two with the ribby. Moore puts down the target. Searage from the windup. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a 1 11, and that is a fly out the center. Felder is there, makes the catch, and there's two outs, and here's Griffey. 
So Griffey, the batter, he's one for four, doubled in two in the first, and he's also grounded out and lined out twice. Moore sets in the target. Searage with the windup and the pitch. And, and that is going to be a four eight and walked him. So Griffey's on with two outs. Here's Pags. Pags has grounded out four different times, 0 for 4. Struggling on a 1 for 12 clip. Moore sets in the target. Sarage working for the stretch. Runner on first and two outs. Here's the pitch to Pags. 4 11 ground ball to first. Romano takes the bag. And we go to the top of the ninth where the Brewers are still trailing by four. 9 5. Dolly Parton special. So now let's see what they're going to do here. A four run. Run lead and can they hold on to the lead? Motor, Yao, and Householder. Yeah, they're not going to keep scurrying in here. It's a four run lead. Do they try and finish things off with Rigetti? It's non save situation. And what? They're going to go Brian Fisher. They've got a lot of, they put a lot of hope in this kid so far. Fisher's 1 and 0, 4.91 ERA, four innings, five hits so far, two walks, giving up a home run. He'll pitch to a couple big righties here. Then he'll have Householder and Deer. So he'll have a couple of the Brewer top bats. Brewers down four. They need some base runners. Wininger sets in. Fisher from the wide up here is the pitch. And that's going to be a 4 5 5 ball center field. Henderson's there. Makes the catch. And that's one out. That's the big out of the game to get to have gotten. Here's Robin Yell. He's one for four on a single in that eighth inning where the Brewers came back alive and scored four. Wagner sets in the target. Fisher from the windup. Here's the pitch to Yount. And that's a one four ground ball to third. Pyro's got it. Throw side on the matting lane. There's two outs. And that, folks, could be it here. Two outs to the ninth. Fisher's one out away. Here's Paul Householder. He had his first home run of the year his last time up. He only had one in 70 at-bats in 86, so he's got one here. We'll see if he can add a second one. Wagner puts down the sign. Fisher looks in. Two outs of the ninth. This Yankee Stadium crowd on their feet at the pitch. 2-2-5. Two, two, now makes the catch and ends the game. Well, the Yankees get two out three for the Brewers here. Win this one by score of 9-5. So the Yankees... The Yankees scored two in the first, two in the second. The Brewers came back with one in the third. Yankees got one in the fourth, two in the sixth. Led kind of going away here, 7-1. They scored two more in the seventh, led 9-1. We thought it was over. And Whitson came in and had put propane on the fire as he gave up an unfortunate one-third inning, two hits, four runs all earned. And it made it a 9-5 ball game. And Rod Scurry had to come in and put the rest of the fire out. He went two-thirds, gave up two hits, two strikeouts. Brian Fisher came in, non-safe situation, worked a nice inning. And that one at 38,000 here at the Stadium. Sorry about the disruptions with the different signals. Doubles by Felder, Henderson, Winfield, and Griffey. Home runs by Householder and Wadiger. Big hitters of the ball game. Four year winning New York Yankees. They had multiple hits from Henderson. Three for five, two runs scored. He's starting to bring up his average. He's up to 320. Winfield, two for four, three RBIs. He's hitting 348. Yankees getting proximity. Yankees got to be worried about. About Mattingly a little bit. He's 0 for 2, run scored, an RBI, hit into two double plays. His average has dropped to 174. Willie Randolph had a Willie Randolph kind of average. 0 for 1, three runs scored, an RBI, three walks. His average is still at 350. So some of these Yankees are hitting quite well first week of the season. And then there's Donnie, kind of struggling in his April doldrums. Charlie Moore was 2 for 4 and a run scored. And Mike Felder was two for five, no run scoring, and added the RBI. Paul Householder had the big influencer of a game, one for five, run scored, had that big three-run homer back in the eighth. The Yankees win it 9-5 here. Let's go ahead and auto the rest of the Sunday afternoon games here, and then we'll get you to the next game that we'll play. Pitching matchups and all that, and we'll get you all set up for baseball. I think we'll be able to skip ahead on Monday. There's no Yankee game on Monday, so we'll go ahead and skip that forward into 1986. And then we'll go ahead and check out the pitching matchup for the game inside Cleveland's Municipal Stadium. So here's your Sunday matchups and scores. Rangers defeat the Orioles 7-4. 
Red Sox beat White Sox 10-8. So the Red Sox continued to dominate the AL East. It was the Angels defeating the A's 12-2. The Indians and the Yankees will see next. Pommel the Tigers 16-5. Wow. Twins over the Mariners 6-4. And the Royals defeat the Blue Jays 2-0. So let's go ahead and look at the Monday results. See if there's anything on the Monday schedule. On the Monday, there is six games scheduled. Make sure the Yankees are not scheduled. That's one of those games. And they're not, so we'll go ahead and put everyone on auto that day. And then the Yankees will be back in ready to go Tuesday night from from Cleveland's Municipal Stadium. So I can imagine about old five, six thousand people will probably show up for that one. But this is the Yankees coming into town. Usually a good good time to get your attendance up. But in the early April weather in Cleveland, you never know. Toronto beats Baltimore three nothing. Detroit over Chicago six three. Kansas City stops Boston 5-4 finally. It was Minnesota beating Oakland 8-7. Seattle over California 10-1. And Texas over Milwaukee 9-2. So here is the Tuesday matchup. It will be again right here on WPIX. Joe Negro on the mound as he'll go in the Cleveland take on the knuckleballer. So knuckleball central as Joe Negro takes on Tom Candiotti. So stay tuned for that one next on the Yankee Broadcasting Network one way or the other. We'll get it to you. This has been New York Yankee Baseball for, again, for, again, April 7th, April 16th. Thank you. And how you doing, Butch? Thank you for coming at the end of the broadcast. Appreciate you. Yankees win. The Yankees win. As the Yankees have won at least the two out of three for Milwaukee, losing the first three to Kansas City. So now they're two and three on the early schedule. Uh, they've kind of been struggling with the schedule a little bit. Uh, hopefully the offense will come around. We're, we're, we're throwing, you know, we're trying to throw our own dice most of the time. We're trying to get out of here quicker tonight. The Yankees are now at two and four. They're five and one in real life, so they are down. They're three games below where they started. Red Sox are three and one. They were two and two in real life. The Red Sox do hold the half game lead over the Indians and two games on the Yankees. In the West is the Royals holding a half game lead over the Rangers and one and a half over the Angels and two and a half over the A's. Again, this is the 1986 New York Yankee baseball replay. Thank you, folks, for coming in. This has been a, this is a game that what we're doing and playing the games on WPIX. And then we are showing the games are on, on Sports Channel and non TV. We'll be playing time and offline. So, next two at three should be right here for you. I get the Cleveland Indians from Cleveland. We'll talk to you later. Have a good night and see you soon.